Bus Stop Films is a not-for-profit film school and production company and we use filmmaking and the film industry to raise the profile of people with disability. We always done film and not theatre before in Bus Stop. But amongst our cohort, we do have amazing, creative, talented young adults and a lot of them would love to do acting or more of it. We did a masterclass with Troy Harrison, one of our teachers. It was just, it was one of those experiences that was incredible the moment we sort of stepped in the room with the, the students. It was one of the most exciting classes I've seen. And I, I just said to Anthony that afternoon, I said, look, I really hope we get to do that again and it's not just a one-off. And the feedback from the students is, we want to continue this, we want to grow this. I think I just said, why don't we just do a program? Why not? Let's partner with ACA. They're an acting school. We've got this great approach around accessibility and inclusion and the two joined together have made something pretty amazing. The purpose of the program is to provide an accessible acting program at one of Australia's leading acting schools, but also to give young adults with intellectual disability a creative outlet, somewhere to develop their confidence, their social skills, to connect and come together as a community and to grow the services and opportunities that we can provide to young adults with disability through creativity. We've got standout actors like the amazing Jared O'Dwyer and Chris Bunton and Audrey, and they contributed their amazing professional acting skills to the development of the program as well. I actually enjoyed setting up the program with, with Troy and Frankie. The not knowing the, the varying degrees of the abilities of the students that were going to come in, and so we had to be very adaptable throughout the process. So that was challenging. And we loved it because we were sharing our ideas. We shared our lived experiences. And working with the wonderful tutors, Troy and Frankie, it was fantastic. The challenges almost were advantages in the end and how connected we became with the students. It wasn't written by teachers for students. It was written teachers and students together. As co-designers, Audrey, Jared and I, we were included in those discussions, in those brainstorming sessions. We loved it. And you could really see in the delivery that Frankie and Troy had that connection and understanding how other actors who live with intellectual disability approach the craft. It was a valuable gift to see how Jared and Audrey's and Chris's expertise was wrapped up in what we saw on the night. I must admit, when we first knew of the program, I was a little bit reticent because I know that for Chloe, reading is a bit of a struggle. We didn't want to set her up to fail. And I just thought, what well, you know, is this the right thing? Is this the right forum for her? Chloe was quite keen. We thought, you know what, we're going to go with it. There was a lot of differing experiences or levels of acting amongst the students, but I feel like when the students were paired up into their scenes, that didn't really matter. We did theatre games to start off with. And one of my favourite activities was the what are you doing here activity. We all loved it. What are you doing? Every student just came and really had a, a, such a hunger in wanting to learn acting technique and not just sort of get on stage and, and throw a scene out. I was really impressed at how engaged they were with the process from the very start of it. I couldn't remember my lines at the start, but uh, over time, I got better at remembering them, and I started to remember them all so much, I was able to perform without needing the script. It was probably the course that taught me that skill. Can I get everyone's attention? Um, can I get everyone to get into their first positions for me off stage? Because we're about to open the doors and let audience in. 10 minutes. 10 more minutes. Oh, the performance night, my heart. I think I'm still smiling and still crying. Everyone was excited to, to see the performance and see how it would go in front of a live audience. Students who perhaps I thought were shy and quite insular were coming out of their shell. I was so surprised by the performances, just how amazing they were and the energy in the room. It was like any other acting performance, but just even better. Seeing him finally on stage and being the character, especially when, after we'd worked on it together, I was so proud, I was so happy with him. And seeing everyone on stage, just really brilliant to watch. The topics that they explored were topics that young adults experience, like relationships and was there alcohol being drunk? I don't know, it was just so great. I was blown away. I did hear someone in, your, in the audience was laughter. 
they thought it was funny at the time, so um, I thought it, it, it was funny myself. And uh, But I did a good job playing Paul. When they'd finished, there was a kind of a high five when people sat down. So I can see there was a beautiful, supportive community that was created. They brought a lot of emotion to each of the characters as well, and especially Chloe. She was quite shy when she started off, but she was really determined to perform in a way that she wanted to. I did a dollar dart. It wasn't a thing until I think maybe two nights out from the performance. She just came up and asked if she could do a dance as a lead into her scene. And we were like, oh, yeah, of course. It was a complete and utter surprise. I knew that she was capable, but I didn't know that she was, that she had that capacity to put that together in that way. I was so proud and so filled up with such emotion. It was em empowering. Loved it. Best night ever. A lot of people aren't willing to cast inclusively. So having these programs here is so important. It was a fantastic experience for Chloe particularly and to see how she really grew in, with, the, with the program. Representation is everything. Seeing yourself in stories just gives you so much more want to tell your stories. And so I think any avenue that allows people with disabilities to do that is, is a good one. I think it was probably one of the most organic celebratory learning experiences I've seen. I'm just thrilled that ACA were able to be a partner. I think for an organisation, if you're delivering any programs, you need to take a look and, and make sure that you're delivering a program that is accessible to people with disability. To not deliver a program that's accessible to around 20% of the population means that you're limiting the sphere in which you can operate. Don't just have people with disabilities inside those programs. Having people with and without disabilities working, collaborating, I would encourage other organisations to take a look at the services that they provide and do that in a holistic way to make sure that the programs and services that you deliver benefit all the community, not just a select group. There are certain sort of little marks along your career where you think, I'm going to remember that forever, and this was one of those times. I think it was really just an amazing experience coming here and acting here. Did it feel amazing? Amazing.